Here are the must watch videos from the wingsound.com community. That's right, these come from members just like you from all over the world who've uploaded their videos into wingsound.com studios. Now, if you have a video that you'd like to upload, simply log on to wingsound.com, build your profile, and start sharing your knowledge with the world right away. Musical director Kerry Hopwood explains how Depeche Mode using Ableton Live. We're taking a split of all the drums. I've got 16 inputs coming from uh, the, the drum kit. Christian's got quite an interesting drum kit. He's got two kicks. The main first kick is the traditional fat kick and we'll often um, put some filters on it or you know we've got you know we're not a very original here we've used kick huge warm you know just to sort of get you know get acoustic drum sounds more electronic. I said earlier when, when we're doing live stuff you tend to want you want things to jump out you want things to you know and it's, it's a rock show you know we've got a big a big you know, a big hard-hitting drummer there, and you know, when we want we want hard sounds, dirt, we want filth, um, and we get it, we get it with this. Generate Music shows us how to define loops from raw vinyl samples using the Flex tool in Logic 9. I think it's important to set this to ticks when you're doing these kind of smaller increments or something small like samples even. But uh, I move the playhead first. First thing you gotta do is to find your loop. You know, the, is it two beats long? Is it four beats long? Something like that. So I'm gonna listen to this. It's a musical riff and I think it's four beats long. So two, two, three, four. Uh, next thing I do, turn this to bar and I move this to a downbeat. I would spend more time, you know, of course, if it wasn't a little tutorial thing. But these are really tight on there. 